and welcome to The Point from MSI Services. This week we'll look at getting the most out of Outlook 2010's updated search features. Microsoft refers to Outlook's main search feature as Instant Search, and the deeper functionality of Instant Search is arguably one of the most overlooked features of Outlook. Let's get started. To begin an Instant Search, type something that you know was in the email you're looking for. It could be the name of the person you sent it to, the subject line, a word or phrase you used in the body of the email, and even the name of an attachment. I'm looking for a proposal from last year. So I type proposal into the search box. As you begin typing, Outlook will automatically begin filtering messages within the currently selected folder, displaying the results and highlighting the matching text in highlighter yellow. Now let's look at some of the deeper functionality I mentioned earlier. Search options are primarily controlled by this new bar, which Microsoft calls the ribbon menu on the top of your Outlook window. When you click the search box here and begin typing your query, you'll notice that the bar changed to introduce additional search options. Let's look at some of the more advanced capabilities. The first few buttons on the left are grouped as scope and have to do with where you search. The first button allows you to search within all mail, including sent items and drafts. Click the all mail button and you'll see that your search results will change to reflect all the folders. These three buttons allow you to choose your current folder, which is the default option, the current folder plus subfolders, and all Outlook items, including contacts and calendar entries. The difference between the all mail items and the all Outlook items is that all Outlook items includes items other than mail, such as contacts and calendar entries. The next grouping of buttons is for refining your search. For most of these refined buttons, you have to enter the appropriate information into the search bar after selecting a filter. For example, from filters by who the email was from. After clicking the button, I have to enter who I want to search for in the parentheses that have appeared in the search box. So I'll just show you that real quick. When I click from, this box appears here and then I can type who the email was from, uh, somebody, at someplace.com. Uh, Outlook automatically places the cursor when I when I do that Outlook will automatically place the cold, uh, cursor where it needs to be for me to start typing so I can just start typing straight away uh, the subject button filters by subject so in the same way you can type in the subject has attachments lets Outlook know that the email that you were looking for has an attachment if you click the categories categorized button to search uh, for one of the messages filtered by a category and uh, I plan on tackling categories in greater detail next issue so keep your eye out for next week's issue this week shows emails from the week only uh, if you click this drop down arrow here you can select other periods of time sent to filters by who the email was sent to so sent to me or some other person and unread shows only messages that are unread uh, re the more drop down offers a large selection of additional criteria you may filter by uh, there's a lot of useful things in here to describe all of them is probably behind the sc uh, beyond the scope of this screencast but they function the same way as the other buttons I've described the first item in the options grouping recent searches uh, let you search something over again and search tools offers specialized options that don't directly relate to the topic of this screencast. Uh, close search, the last button, simply erases your query and goes back to the folder you were last in. The power of these different search buttons really shines through when you begin to combine various functions together. For example, I'll begin a search for proposal. I know that I got it last week and that it had an attachment so I'll click has attachment and got it last week in that way I can really zero in on the right search result very quickly with that we reach the conclusion of this week's issue of the point my name is Phil writer and narrator of the point if you like what you've seen and want to receive the point on a regular basis please see our website msiservices.com you can find previous issues of the point on our website by clicking the, the links below Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.